hi guys welcome to this channel so today i'm taking you to the belgian museum in kigali so let's find out what happened to those belgians or what exactly uh were they doing around here in kigali and uh why were they killed so guys tighten your seat belts and let's go to the belgian memorial in kigali town where did I go wrong? Mm. I'm lost inside my head mm. When everything around me keeps on changing And these broken thoughts are begin. I don't like to fly on my own I need a little love sometimes When the lights go dim and I'm outside then She's the only one that still feels right And she know how it goes One day I'm the most Next day I'm a joke, headed down that slope Then I float to the coast, with a lump in my throat Say, will you stand your ground if I lose mine? Even if it takes me a long time To realize that I'm wrong and I'm singing a song with lyrics that don't rhyme I keep fading away, to a place that don't feel safe And I pray that I wake up, one day I'm falling to pieces, I'm breaking apart So this is a Kigali Belgian Memorial. It's like a home of the, the 12 Belgian commandos that are protecting the Prime Minister in 1994 genocide. Those people were brought in here in 1994 genocide when the government promised them they are going to send them back home. So basically they came in here in Rwanda on a UN mission to protect the Prime Minister. But later on, the government said, okay, now you are no longer have the right to protect the Prime Minister. I want you to go back home. So they put them in the car. Who was the, the Prime Minister? The then? Prime Minister was like Agatha Wiedinjima. A lady. Yes, she was a lady. And also she was not a Tutsi. She was a Hutu, but she was not a supporting the idea of killing the Tutsi. Yes, yeah, so they brought her, they brought those 12 Belgian commandos inside the military place in here. After promising that they want to send them back home, they brought them in the military place that was in here. And then put them inside a small house that you're going to see in here. And then they started shooting all of them. Who shot them? The, the military, because this was a military base. So they came out of soldiers and then they tried to shoot all of them, sending grenades inside the building where they were. And then these people, they were having some small guns, they tried to protect themselves, but they can't resist for so many hours, they end up being killed. When did this happen? In 1994, genocide. I 
This place is dedicated to the memory of 10 Belgian commandos, part of peacekeeping mission under the UN flag, slaughtered during the Rwandan genocide against the Tusis in 1994. This place is also dedicated to the memory of 12 other Belgians who were murdered during that genocide, to the hundreds of thousands of Rwandans slaughtered and to all the victims of genocide worldwide. Your fist is here. Yeah? Fist is here. So you start with me, huh? Mm. On 7th April 1994, while assuring the security of the Rwandan Prime Minister, 10 Belgian commandos were surrounded by members of FAR forces, armies, Rwandeses, who ordered the commandos to disarm in exchange for safe passage to a UN base. Instead of being taken to the UN base, the 10 commandos were brought to a military camp here. At this site, on arrival, the commandos were attacked by a hundred of soldiers from the camp. Against this overwhelming force of uh, force, the commandos took refuge in this building and, with two side arms, they had managed to conceal, resisted for several hours, they fought till their death while hoping for help. That never came. Read everything, it might even take yeah. you like so many yeah. hours. So, just basically, what we are going to do is like this here because we are going to say they talk about the mission of why they came in here, they talk who they are, they talk about their families, their history, and things like that. But basically, most of these like UN people came in here for like a UN mission okay. because we are having like a UN military who came in Rwanda for like to protect the civilians. Which later on they didn't even do anything. You can see them on the top of some of the mountains here in Rwanda. You can see them. That was like some of the pictures that I was talking. So they were in the group called the UNAM. So you can see these are their cars, their things like that. So most of these are like the historical of everything. If we try to go deep, it took a while. I want to show you the corner where they push them and then start shooting all of them. You can see here the names and stuff like that and how everything went. These are the root holes. These are so serious. Yeah. Why are the bullets penetrating? Because that is exactly where this military people came. This is like 10 Belgian commanders that were in here. So these people were shooting from over here, shooting from here. So there was no windows. They tried to put new windows over there, but everything was destroyed. But they didn't do anything with this house. Anything that you see here is right. Like, yes. So in this corner, you can see some holes over here that because you throw more grenades on this side, you can see over there some. So these are the flowers that are put by their families when they came to visit this place. So this is like their names. The prime minister was with them. Yes, they were like the bodyguard of the prime minister. So, over there, this is a sign and they put in as like a grave of them, even though they put down over there. So, all these stones that you see here, mm -hmm. they came, they brought them from Beijing. One of them here, all these slides that you see here, they assemble the age of each of the things. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, they are like in the form of circle to represent the unity they were having during the time they were trying to fight in the military person right inside. But again, over there, you can just see really everything from there. Mm. This one, even the other one, the place where you see tents and stuff like that, it was a military. Oh, it is, it is still a military base. No, no, now it's not a military base. We 
we, in the middle of the city, we don't have any police except where there is uh, the Minister of Defense. That's uh, I should say maybe the military, anything military. The other ones are like on different mountains close to. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 